Jim Beaver, who's set its sights and teeth on trees in one local park, may be a goner. But in a good way. I don't, right. Not the bad goner. <laughs> we first told you about the feasting fur ball yesterday. The city of Mason wants to trap it and relocate it. Yes, but as WLW2 News finds Eric Zarnas reports tonight, this beaver may have bitten off a little more than he can chew. In the state of Ohio, a beaver is classified as a nuisance animal, which means for the city of Mason, they've got some tough decisions to make. Either the beaver stays put or it gets put down. Well, don't see him too much, but he'll be in the middle of the lake and you'll hear him because he'll slap his tail. Ryan Tull, a sophomore at Mason High School, is a regular at Pine Hill Lakes Park in Mason. My friend Matt and I, uh, we always like fishing here. And lately, when we're out fishing, we'll see the beaver swimming around at the lake. The beaver adds a little majesty to the park for some. It's amazing what they can do. I mean, trees back there were this thick, and they were gnawed down in half. But as we first reported yesterday, the city of Mason wants to move the troublemaker. Today, I learned state law limits the city's choices. Mason only has two options, leave the beaver alone or kill it. I mean... I don't really want to see the beaver killed, but at the same time, if it's going to mess up a park, then I don't know. You have to decide what to do. I would leave it up to the park authorities to make the final decision. And if they feel it's becoming a nuisance to the trees and to the public, then I agree that it, it, should, be, it should be captured, trapped, killed. And, and killed. You know, I really, I have a hard time dealing with the killing of animals because I love animals, uh, but I can see where there probably is a danger, and I don't know. I hope they can work something out. Now, I spoke with the city, and they said they've temporarily pulled the traps from the lake. They're going to wait for things to cool down and then take care of this problem after the holidays. Reporting from Pine Hill Lakes in Mason, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5.